So this is a Sprite Alpine 2. I'm going to take you around the caravan and show you how it operates. The hitch up procedure is something we demonstrate in person on site. And we do have a separate video for this that I can send you as well. In the front locker, we've got the gas bottle with gas pipe work. The fitment here is actually a reverse thread, so you need to turn it the opposite way, for instance, like a Coke bottle lid. Um, you turn it the opposite way um, so you can release the fit in. And then on top, you've got your gas valve on and off. So you turn the gas on by turning it around to the right and turn it off, turn it around to the left. In the front, you've got your leg winder and you've got space there for a secondary gas bottle as well. Going around to this side of the van, we've got the water, bar uh, the water barrel, um, which you can see here. And then you've got your water pump connection coming in the side of the caravan. I'll show you how that works by going to get the water pump. And let's go and grab it from inside the van. So we've got the water pump here. Now to uh, actually do this, you drop the water pump into the barrel, as you can see just there. You put the pump into position in the side of the van. You pull back the blue trigger and you push it into the side of the caravan, as you can see here. That is essentially your water pump connected up into the acro roll. And I'll demonstrate on the inside how you fill the system. Just down the bottom here, you've got your wind down leg. Again, I'll show you these in person on the side. The vent cover on the side is for your heating and hot water. So that is actually the gas flue for when you're running the heating and hot water on gas. Again, I'll explain a bit more about that when we go inside. Side locker, you've got your power connection coming to your power supply on site. And then you've got your leisure battery in the side of the caravan also. On the side of the van, you've got your fridge vents. So one will take in a bit of cooler and one will blow out a bit of warmer. The wheel nuts will tighten before you leave site so, they, so you can see they've been done correctly. Then you've got your grey waste pipes on the side of the van as well. We'll supply some grey pipe that goes down to your waste master. At the back of the van, on the far side of the van, you've got the flush tank for the toilet system. Three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid. And in the bottom, you've got your toilet cassette. So, sorry, that's your flush tank up top, I should say. And at the bottom, you've got your waste cassette itself. You pull the yellow handle up and pull the cassette towards you. You empty the cassette through this neck just here. Take the cap off to empty it. And on the back, you've got a yellow uh, button on the back there to release the pressure in the tank itself as you're tipping the waste away. At the back of the caravan, you've got your wind down legs on either side, as you can see. And again, we'll demonstrate those while you're here on site. We'll go inside the van next. So above the door as you walk in, you've got your main control panel for the caravan. To operate this, you've got power on and power off. So when you hit this, if you've got the lights already turned on on the system. So if you've already got the lights turned on inside the van, as you can see, when I hit the power switch, they'll turn off at the same time, apart from the 12 volt lights at the front. When I hit the power, 240 lights will come back on also. On the display above here, you'll, it's letting me know that we're connected to mains power and we've got power to the caravan. If connected to the car and the caravan at the same time, so with 12 volt going through to the caravan, you'll have a green light on the car and a green light on the caravan. If you've got all three lit up, then you need to disconnect one or the other to be able to get power source through to the van. You've got your leisure battery level on the left hand side, and then you've got your vehicle battery when you're towing on the right hand side. Again, you've got the view level button here that will bring up the levels on each side, depending on which side <clears throat> which side, or what sort of power source you're using. Next of all, we're going to go to the water system. Now, to fill the water system, you're going to need to come over to the taps, open them all on the hot side, open them completely. So that's the one on the sink, the one in the bathroom, on the sink, and then the shower also. Just move the plug from it. Open that one up as well. And the plug in the sink. We'll then go underneath the seat on the front far side of the caravan. And underneath here you will see a little yellow valve. Now it's just behind that box just there in the corner. 
that little yellow valve is actually the drain down valve. Now, when you fill the system, you need to make sure that is flat, um, going the same way, basically following the par uh, in parallel with the floor. And when you want to drain the water system, you need to lift that valve up so it drains down the water system completely. Once you've got that valve shut and you put your rack roll connector on the outside of the van, as I've showed you outside, you can come up to the control panel again above the door and you can turn on the water pump. What you'll notice is once it starts getting pressure up in the water system, you'll get water coming out of all of the taps on board the van. And when that water's coming out continuously as it is now, you can shut each tap off. And that includes the shower. And then you'll be able to start water using the water heater on board the van to, to produce some heat in the water. Now, down below in the cupboard where I just took you for the um, control L, the drain down valve, you'll see you've got two switches here on the mains control panel. So you've got your system shut down on this side, ignore that for now, but you just turn that one off when you're not using the caravan. 12 volt fuses below with a list below of what they're all for. And then you've got your mains power trip switches, which again, you've got a list for just down here. To warm the water on electric, you'll hit this button just here and that will start warming the water up on the electric power source only. When you do that, it's a preset temperature around 35 to 40 degrees. I'm going to turn that off for now. When you want to use a space heater, which is the little heater down here, you'll also need to have that switch on there. And you can actually leave that one on because it's not warming any water system up. The only reason for turning off the electric one is if it hasn't got water in the system, it won't burn out the element inside the tank. If you want to warm the water on gas on board the van, you can also do that, and you've got a control here for that. So as you can see down the side, you've got a gas symbol just about there. You can turn this dial around to the gas symbol, and when it ignites on gas, you'll get a green light appear just behind here. If it fails to ignite, you'll get a red light appear also. And all you need to do is, if it fails to ignite, is turn the dial back off, and turn the dial back on so it tries to reignite. At that point, if it doesn't ignite, what we would advise you to do is, come over to the hob, Bleed the gas out on the hob and get the hob running nicely so there's gas coming out. And then you can reignite it again on this control. The advantage you've got of using the water system on gases is that you can control the water temperature between 30 and 70 degrees on this dial just here. So that's your water heating. To turn it off, you go back to the zero position on the side. The ultra heat, very simple to use. Depending on what caravan site you're on, which is for the heater down here. So you've got the main control underneath the seat down there. But this is the control for the electric side of the heating on board the van. Depending on what site you're on, you'll have either 500, 1000 or 2000 watts of power available. You can tr turn this dial here to select each power source, the different, the different volt, uh, wattages coming into the van. And then you can control the temperature of the heater on this dial just here. Temperature is between one and nine. It's more of a power level setting, sorry, rather than a temperature setting. And that will start warming up the heat on electric. If you wish to use the heater on gas, you've got your dial here on top. that looks a bit like the one on your barbecue, for instance. You turn it around to between 10 and nine, high up down the gas valve. And when it does ignite on gas, you'll get a pilot light in this window down here. Once it has ignited, you slowly release the gas valve and then control the temperature on the dial on top. If you want to use the caravan on blown air, you can use it on gas blown air or electric blown air. It's entirely your choice. What you can do is, the dot here in the centre allows the heat to come out the front of the heater. If you put it onto the wave symbol on this side, it'll actually turn on the blown air and then you've got your fan speed on top. So that's continuous blown air just here. And on the A on the right hand side, it's, uh, it's a thermostated or automatic blown air, so it cuts in and out with the thermostat. <clears throat> Cooker and microwave, fairly self-explanatory to use, work very much the same as your household. There will be some instructions for the microwave in the caravan book pack that's in the front drawer of the van, just down there. And then with the toilet system, the last thing we go through on this particular van, you've got an electric uh, pump flush on top for the toilet system. Then down here, you've got your waste flap for the toilet system also. So essentially the waste flap down there will open up the waste flap in the centre of the toilet and you will need to open this every time you, before you use the loo. If you have any further questions on the Sprite Alpine 2, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll do all we can to assist you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.